New Haven, Connecticut now, where authorities are beginning to piece together a portrait of the lab technician accused of murdering Yale student Annie Lay. But as ABC's Stephanie Sy reports, there's still a number of major questions surrounding her final hours. As grief-stricken family make funeral preparations for Annie Lay in Placerville, California, prosecutors in New Haven continued collecting evidence against the only suspect in her murder, Raymond Clark III. On Friday night, they seized a Ford Taurus from the motel where the 24-year-old Yale lab technician was arrested. Besides DNA evidence collected at the lab, key swipe records place him at the scene of the crime. And ABC News has confirmed that police captured surveillance video of Clark appearing distraught after a fire alarm was set off in the building. But a few days later, he was playing shortstop at a softball game, and his teammates tell us he seemed completely normal. I'm still thinking that maybe tomorrow they'll say, oh, release him, it's not him. Richard Santana says Clark joked around with him as usual Sunday, and that his parents and fiancé were in the stand supporting him. He's a good kid. You know, it was no identification his behavior, you know, throughout the season or through Sunday, you know, that he was capable of doing a heinous crime like this. Sunday was the day Lay's body was discovered, and the fact that she was strangled may hint at a motive. People who kill other people and strangle them is a very personal thing, because they're actually looking at you as they're dying. And so think about what anger and rage anyone would have to have. So far, the 24-year-old Clark has refused to be interviewed by investigators. The city's police chief says that unless there's a confession, they may never know the real motive. And at trial, it may not matter because of the amount of physical evidence that was collected at this lab. Clark's defense attorney may try to argue that the evidence was contaminated because the lab was not sealed for several days after Lay's disappearance. For Good Morning America, Stephanie Sy, ABC News, New Haven, Connecticut.